Hello guys, welcome back and if this is your first time here, my name is Noemi. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So for today, I have a bunch of random <laughs> things that I just recorded over the week and right now I am removing the shelf that I find actually at a second hand store for $3 way back then about I don't know like seven or eight years ago and uh, before that I used that for the boys room we put the little cards on it but now they grew out of it so I started to store my essential oils on it and this is a perfect shelf I can actually even adjust the the shelves in there so it's very practical and I just moved this shaft to this area because this is basically where I use my oils most of the times this is where my diffuser is and if I use something to create some kind of lotion again I just collected everything into this little cabinet underneath I don't know how about you guys but to me it's always take years to find a place for everything where it works the best and even with that sometimes I have to change things around so this is what happened now I'm trying to figure out where to put the things and I think this corner will be really good just to gather all this all natural things because I'm very into learning more about making tinctures and all kinds of sorts of oils so that is done on the road and for now I'm just creating the space where I can gather this type of items and these are recycled glasses i have a friend who is a nutrition therapist and she has so many glasses that she recycles so i got those little jars and i got to use them and as a matter of fact <laughs> this week i had an ear infection so i made um, some oils that have some garlic in there and that's what i used so this is the type of things that i want to store here Okay, so if you can find a stud, I oh, would right, like I'm to... screwdriver. Screwdriver? Yeah, you had it. You just had it. <laughs> oh, it's on the table. I organized this closet a little bit. I added names and I have four separate baskets. So these are all for the gloves and hats and mittens and all those things that we need on the winter. Okay, so if you could put it about this high, a little bit right. Just hang it on the drywall and I'm gonna put the anchors in there. Is this in the level? Um, yeah, that's good. This is the area where we can get ready. So we have some coats and backpacks here. It comes very handy and I love that, that I can hide this in the closet. So those little hooks that we have out there, it's for our friends when they're coming over, they can put their purses there, but I really like to hide things as much as possible because it's just easier on the eyes. Why don't you do it before this is laid down the hill? Yeah, that's a good idea. Thanks. Slow down. Slow down. When my neighbors calling me over if they have any extra apples on pear or pears, anything that they can offer <laughs> that they have too much, I happy to say yes. So these are apples, you know, with all sorts of imperfection but it's totally fine because I'm just going to use them uh, um, just to bake something with that and also for juicing it's amazing because juicing can be so expensive but now I'm going to save so much money just by these apples and of course in return I offer in offering things from my garden to them so they were happily accepting my zucchinis and I got these beautiful apples Okay, I don't know. What I think we're good. I, I think okay. the bag is heavier than me.
Okay, so that's supposed to be in to be able to go with this car, right? Yeah, so we're gonna have to put this in there. This is gonna be fun. Yeah, I know. It's supposed to be over there, constantly pushing my limits. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with that. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, after it's done, hopefully it's gonna work. You fixed a few cars before. I mean, they each had their own unique battle because fixing the electric car was tricky like it's not something that was a brand new concept to you yeah that was that was a brand new brand so what new is that what is the hardest in this fix for you uh i never done it before and then i i don't know what you are doing what's okay and what's oh. not okay so like how clean i have to be with and then i mean i do everything hey, at least specs. it's not the brake it's the engine <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It should be fine, you know, if I remember how to put things back together. <laughs> All this spaghetti wiring over here, 150 million ends, you know. But you still remember, uh, right? Well... <laughs> The that wasn't really the answer I was looking for. No, no, the good thing is that the connectors are proprietary. So meaning is that they're gonna go into one place. It's just a matter of finding where sh they should be at. Okay. So if I don't end up with a bunch of pigtails, pigtails <laughs> dangling around and then they're not plugged in, I should be fine. <laughs> Did you finish fix the car? I don't know you guys if you remember but last year when we tried to create that area in the garage where we tried to create that laundry room in our previous home that's when we were like okay we're giving up to finding a house on the countryside so we're just going to stay here for a while so let's just finish it up so we screwed all the cabinets onto the wall in the garage and of right after immediately we have done this project we got the text that we might going to have the chance to buy this house where we are right now but it was so it happened so fast so we had to put up the house in like three or four days like we didn't even think through we just wanted to get it done to make it happen of uh, the selling process and then everything that was screwed on the wall all the cabinets it had to go as we saw up some kind of cabinets name and that's when i saw they are in stock so we ordered that immediately and then guess what in an hour they were sold out again so i got real lucky wow to a certain degree because we ordered four and we paid for four but we received three of them and there's nothing that we can do no matter how many times we have called them and we explained that we only received the three of them nothing happened so so far we paid for four cabinets and we got three <laughs> so we are putting those together and i also purchased the one that are deeper so i'm planning to put the shoes in there and this cabinets will be used in the future office area which will be this one that you just saw in the clip so i'm going to try to create an area where we the kids can study and then that would be an office area because it's kind of like the other side of the fireplace so we don't go there a lot but i thought it's gonna be a nice place just to paint and get done some homework and things like that
okay this area so I finished over here wow it's I don't think it's going to stay here because we have some plan over here we're gonna do a bigger opening and a barn door so there's a bigger picture here that we want to change around but for as of right now this is the homeschool storage area so we have this little drawers from ikea and i got the markers there uh, for the whiteboard some glues and pencil sharpener and I got the calcula calculators over here. And what else we have? Oh, we got some rulers. And that one is empty. Okay. So basically, the only storage that we needed is for the books. So I really like it because we get to see what we have. Actually, the boys, this is their closet, basically. But also, I can just close it so it doesn't make it look very busy. So I can just close it. It's easy to access. And the reason I wanted to put it on this wall, because they are usually reading on the couch, so it's easier to put it away. And it's also close to the table where they like to learn so it seems like a perfect spot and these are dividers that I'm going to use later on so look out for that video very soon <laughs> but I might thinking to move these things over here to the other wall we still have the dresser to put together but this is the wall where I want to create this office area and then maybe eventually down on the road i want to have a nice cozy rug over here i don't want to have big bulky items i'm also thinking maybe two armchair over here so we can look at the fire when it's on so that's an idea <laughs> and i started to put the squashes and pumpkins and all sorts of things from the garden over here because i just running out of place <laughs> I have some tomatoes in the window still over here too <laughs> so I have to get creative with the storage so nobody can see it behind the curtain so this is the plan for that area I also wanted to show you guys this is again I find it on the side of the road it's just so cute with these berries and I just wanted to share this with you so just look out as you go for a walk because there are so many cute things that you can find on the side of the road and that's another find. I was walking with my friend yesterday and I just picked this up on the side of the road. It's so cute, so I'm going to decorate with that as well. So that today's plan, I'm going to process all these apples. I mean, not all of them, but like the ones that don't look too happy. <laughs> so I'm going to work on that. I got some carrots, so I'm going to do a lot of juicing and also and also I ordered some of these bags that I shared in my previous video so I'm I'm so excited for that because now I can have the amount where I can actually prepare food for a longer term and as you can see I really love this how they show like you can put the herbs next to the meat so it's pretty neat I ordered some medium one and large ones so this is the large one so yeah I'm going to work with these for the next meal prep because this has been a game changer. It's it's pretty amazing that I can chop up things and just make it ready. And uh, all I have to do is just toss it together and just put it in a casserole dish and bake something. So yeah, it definitely makes my life easier. I think I can do this with one hand. Okay, should be good. Let's check the mailbox. Maybe I should show you guys the garden because I know some of you has, have been asking about it. So we have some plan with that too. We got the greenhouse. So we were thinking just to experiment with that. We're going to put some of the tomatoes in there. Wait. Ah. I know it's it's ugly isn't it it's raining I know the girls are just complaining about the weather so we're going to plant those into a bigger planter and just move them into the greenhouse and some of that these are these guys pretty much done but I'm just going to let them grow because there are still some zucchinis that are still growing and then the nasturtium I think it's gonna be good until 
the freeze arrives and then I have to harvest the watermelons but this is where the garden is now and the strawberries are insane so science we were able to protect with these uh, protect the strawberries from the deers it just really went into this full growing mode I have some rosemary underneath there that I have to shovel out but just check this out it's beautiful so we can spread it out now I'm just going to visit the mailbox <laughs> and uh, there, I know this video just it has just a bunch of random snippets from here and there but this week was very busy we had so many appointments I spent some time with my friends now I have plans for a bunch of other videos so look out for those thank you so much for clicking on this video and watching until the end I appreciate you guys so much and I'm sending you so much love and many hugs bye